What's up guys? What we're going to do in this video is I'm actually going to show you how you can populate the points from a Tridium Jace into a Metasys ADX server. Now the first question that a lot of folks are going to ask is why not go either one or the other? When the reality is if you look out across the various building automation systems that are, are, that are out there, a lot of people, a lot of organizations, in many ways those systems are blended. Uh, if you have multiple buildings that are tied in, it's very common to see one building or group of buildings that has one type of system where another building may have another type of system. What we're going to do in this and the purpose of this is basically just to help normalize some of the differences and some of the things down to one platform that most of our folks are familiar with working with. Whether you have a Tritium system that is dominant on your organization or whether you have a Johnson Controls Medicine system that is dominant, you can set it up to where these systems are going to work together. And that's part of what the process is in this video. We're going to talk to sh and show you exactly why that is as far as pulling the points in, being able to populate them on the server, and there's a couple of key factors that you need to keep in mind. But again, guys, before we jump into that technical part of it, just remember this is something just to help make folks' life easier. If you have a system that is dominated by one or the other, that may be what you want to go with as far as your front end, whether it's Tritium, whether it's Metasys. Uh, if you've got a couple of Jaces out there, you would like to bring them into your Metasys system, then this is how you would do it. Uh, before we get started, guys, I would appreciate it if you would like the video, share the video, leave me a comment down below. And guys, I put these videos out for free, but if you want to help support the channel, you can do so by checking out some of the affiliate links down below. Any purchase that you make through there goes to help support what we do here. There's also super thanks. You can become a channel member and so on. But for now, guys, let's start with the basics of what you're going to need to do to get those points into your system. And we're going to begin by going into Workbench. So here we go. We begin the process by logging in to our station in the Jace. There's a few things that we've got to do inside the Jace to get it configured up the way that you need. Now, one thing that you need to note, if you're going to be adding a Jace to your Metasys server, you're going to be going through a network engine you know, either the NAE or the SNE, that's the only way that you can pass the data directly through to the ADX server. Okay, so, you know, there's a few steps that we've got to follow, uh, a few things that you've got to do. And after we did the discovery on the device, uh, seeing that there was some issues, uh, that's when we had to go back in to do the work to actually get it set up where the points were available for discovery. What you're going to want to look for underneath your BACnet network, you're going to go to the local device, then you're going to select the export tables. This is where you're going to pull those points in. Now you can simply go here and hit the discovery button and it's going to go and discover everything on that JACE for you or it's going to pull your points out for you or you could create folders. Here we're just bringing in all of the points that are on the system. We're just going to basically initially drag all these down but I do want to come back and show you something in particular that you need to pay attention to and that is if you are going to make these points writable. There is a particular way that you've got to pull those in. Uh, of course, each time that you grab one of these points or one of these and drag it down, you're going to get this little pop-up window. And that is a critical thing that you need to pay attention to if you're wanting to make the points writable from some other type of a system. Make sure that the points which were pulled into your Tritium system, into the Jace, are writable uh, before you even try to do this step. Now, any of the points that are just your data, analog inputs, temp sensors, and things like that, you can simply grab them and drag them down in a group. But when it comes to a point that is writable, uh, that's something that you're going to need to pay a little bit closer attention to. Uh, you can see on the right-hand side of the screen on the bottom panel, it'll tell you whether some of these are writable and things like that. And it will also give you the priority list. 
Uh, of course, you can see here on these points here, we do have some that are labeled as writable and some that are not. Uh, these two here are currently not writable. So I'm just going to drag them down and drop them into the export table. There's really nothing that I need to do in that pop-up window. But when I do come to a point that is writable, that's where I need to pay some attention. I'm going to grab that particular point, and when I pull it down to the table, it's going to give me this pop-up window, and I need to, ch to uh, change the point type. Okay, you can see here that it's an analog or, you know, sometimes it's it, whether it's an analog, whether it's a binary or whatever. You need to change this to from an input to an output, regardless of whether it is an uh, analog or a binary or a numerator or whatever. If you don't change that to an output, it's not going to let you do anything with it. And you can see here you'll need to select a couple of the priorities, and then you can come back and edit these later on in the export tables. But you need to at least go ahead and just grab one of them while you're trying to get this set up. And I would highly recommend that any of the points that you are going to pull in as writable, that you take the time to go through this step. Now, I know it's a very common thing for technicians in many cases. They will simply grab all the points, drag them into the system, drop them, and then later on when somebody tries to make an adjustment on that system, they are not able to do so simply because the points were not pulled in properly. Make sure you pull them in right the first time. Now we're going to jump into our Metasys system. Of course, we are running Metasys MUI. We're going to highlight the JACE. You can see that it is populated on our network already. I don't want to just grab all of those points. There are actually four air handlers that are part of this. And what I want to do is actually add a couple of folders. When you're setting anything up on your system, be sure to organize it to where it's going to benefit you uh, further down the road. One of the problems with trying to pull all of the points in at once is the simple fact that you're not going to be able to get them all. You can only display so many of those points within Metasys. And if you do not find a way uh, to break it up a little bit, then you're not going to be able to see all of your points when you pull it in. Simply going in and adding some folders to your system and then pulling those points into those folders is a better way to keep things organized. You can go in here and set them up however works for you. I'm simply going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to insert an object and it will give me the option for a folder. And then once I have this option here, I'm going to name that folder something relevant to the group of points that I'm going to be pulling in. And that's all you've got to do. You can simply go through here, add a couple of folders, and do the same thing to each of those. And I promise you, if you don't take this step, you're going to regret it later on when you're trying to clean your system up and get it organized the way that it should be. This makes your life much easier by having these grouped in folders if you have a lot of points that you're trying to pull in. You can see that we have a couple of folders created underneath the JACE after we have it pulled into our system. So now I'm simply going to click into one of those folders and it's going to bring me in. You can see there's currently no points, but when I hit the plus sign, what it's going to do then is give me the option to pull in those points. And you can see here I hit the discovery, let it go through the process of discovering all of those points that are in the JACE. And basically what I'm going to do is simply go through here and select the individual points that I want. I'm breaking these up by the side and see I'm just going to simply go through here and select the ones that are going to match what I want in that folder. Again, take the time Put those folders in there, organize it properly because it's really going to come into play later on, especially when you're trying to build your equipment definitions to get this into the system the way that it should be. Okay, It's going to make your life much easier. Now, once you have selected all of these for a particular folder, when you move on to the next folder, you're going to have uh, the ability to pull the remaining points in. So depending on how many folders that you have, depending on what you're needing to do in your system, 
Uh, it's going to simplify it once you get through that first process. When you get to that last folder that you need to pull those points into, it is going to give you the option of just grabbing what you have not since they're all underneath the same device. And this can make it much easier on you. I promise you it will make it much easier on you. Later on, uh, building the graphics, building the equipment definitions, and so on. And you need to remember also, that it's going to take the system just a bit to be able to populate all these and to create them. But once you do get them created, you can see here the data is actually uh, just taking a moment to populate. This is all of the points. Again, this is a Tritium Jace being populated onto a Metasys ADX server. Uh, the points, currently we are not receiving data, and a lot of that is just simply because the device is trying to collect the data. And now we're starting to see that data populate. And you can see going through here, uh, we're seeing our temperatures, we're seeing our statuses, and so on. So this is a big, big help as far as keeping it within a single system to where you can see your data and have it right at your fingertips. And here, just as I mentioned earlier, we don't have the points into that second folder yet but when I do the auto discover just like what you're seeing here uh, what it's going to do is I simply I have the ability to select and then bring the remaining points into that JACE. Okay I scroll through here you're going to see that most of those are already pulled within the system and I mean I can go through here and check them individually just depending on what I want to do but since we only have two folders and it being a big time saver I can simply select all of them at one time uh, simply going up and hitting that main thing up top that main button and it will select the remaining points and then bring them into the system as well it's not very difficult to do this you just gotta follow the right steps one thing that I want to mention, when you pull these points in, depending on a lot of factors, depending on the flavor of tritium that you're using, uh, some of those points, when you try to command them, may not be commandable for whatever reason. This is one of the unfortunate realities about trying to make these systems work together. Uh, there can be combinations that are not as friendly as others, so that's something that you want to keep in mind. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, leave those down below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And uh, anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. Share the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All the usual stuff, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.